నమస్కారం గురు శ్రీమతి మృణాలి సదానంద గారు డైరెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ కళా మండపం వెల్కమ్ టు దిస్ మార్గల్లి సీజన్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వన్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ యూ టెల్ అ సంథింగ్ న్యూ యూ టాక్ అబౌట్ సంథింగ్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇయర్ వాట్ టాపిక్ డి టు చూస్ ఆంటీ ప్లీజ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ దాట్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఎవ్రీబడి అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇట్స్ సచ్ ఎ బ్యూటిఫుల్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇయర్ దిస్ మార్గరీ సీజన్ ఫర్ అన్ ఆర్టిస్ట్ టు కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఫాండర్ వాట్ ఎల్స్ షుడ్ బీ బీ డూయింగ్ యూ నో టు అవర్ ఆడియన్సెస్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇయర్ ఐ థాట్ మేబీ ఐ షుడ్ టాక్ అబౌట్ సత్యభామ సత్యభామ ఈస్ అ వెరీ ఫ్యాసినేటింగ్ క్యారెక్టర్ ఐ లవ్ సత్యభామ ప్రాబబ్లీ సిన్స్ i was maybe 6 or 7 years old she i don't know why satya mama fascinated me so much uh, maybe it is because of her ashta with an eye to lakshanas you know uh, that she has all uh, she's a conglomerate of all kinds of avastas all she is a combination of different heroines and that fascinated me a lot well that's really wonderful and usually everybody they does uh, with different different kinds of songs for ashtavida naik i've never seen anybody doing uh, uh, ashtavida naikas in satya mama yeah. that's really unique i think yes uh, it, you know i just thought you know on the average generally people do uh, either padams or javalis or uh, you know ashtapadis because there yes, is a yes. lot of scope for expression exactly so in yes. that in that way it is easy to express the uh, mood of satya bhama or anybody for that matter you know when expression items are there uh, if you take these items either padams or javalis or ashtapadis the dancer has a lot of open scope that's why people do that but then you know um, as uh, as i felt you know satya bhama uh, she is uh, a combination of so many of the characters the typical characters of a woman you know see each trait supposing i have a character basically somebody calls me uh, she is a sattvic lady you know just somebody says that for example it doesn't mean i am sattvic all the time there are these hidden qualities in me that may not come out all the time but in a context at certain time rarely probably maybe my rajasic quality will come out so this satya bhama when we are talking about one quality don't just think she doesn't have the other qualities she does have the other qualities yes just like That's any wonderful. any other you know you you if you say i am um, i am very rajasic say for example um, most of the times i may be rajasic but there may be a time that i'm very sattvic also right so you cannot really say this person is this the major quality may be that the major okay. color may be that but yes, there are yes. colors are there see so that means you are seeing different shades of satyabama i want to see different shades of satyabama they kind of overlap sometimes they do and you wonder oh my goodness we thought satyabama is this or satyabama is also that so that is very interesting for me and that is um, uh, a very typical of any human being especially in the night you know so she represents an average individual like you and me that's what satya mama is she has a husband she is very possessive or of her husband she her parents are very very rich her father is a king and she is uh, known as to be an arrogant arrogant person she is known to wear you know jewelry that is probably enough for about 7 weeks isn't it and she has a beautiful the famous jada and that yeah. flat and that, that she's so proud of her flat so we see these the, these qualities are very obvious does it mean satya mama is only that so that's what i wanted to explore today yes the the first one ask me what you want me to do i would be happy to um, do that what is your first uh, heroine character you want me to portray swati apadika yeah uh, this is uh, swadina patika the beginning the very first one 
uh, a woman who is sure and proud of her man. She's confident that he loves her the most and is very proud of her husband's love and loyalty. One who is very lucky to have a Nayaka who is always by her side and listen to her. She is Swadhina Patika. So what you're going to do for that, Aunt? Huh. Swadhina Patika. Now you're saying Sachima, my Swadhina Patika. She's very confident. She is very sure of her husband. She is very, very much in love with her husband. And she is also very uh, uh, satisfied that Krishna, her husband, is uh, she's the most chosen person by Lord Krishna. You know this, she's very thorough about it. But then, yes, yes. that's what Satyabhama is all about. If Satyabhama is confident, does it mean she is um, she's not uh, shy? See, when you are very confident, generally people think, well, she's outrageous, she's confident. So she doesn't feel, she's in, it's, it's misogynistic to say that, but they will say, well, she's very manly. She's very arrogant. See, they have an expectation of a woman. Right or wrong? Okay. They have an expectation of a woman. They want her to be um, somewhat uh, reserved, somewhat shy. Uh, there is no equivalent word for that. You know, the shyness that we talk about, that sigu that we talk about in Telugu, quote unquote, it's not exactly shyness. There is some kind of joyful inhibition in expressing herself. There is a joy in that. There is a joy in that. It's not like she is shy and she is uh, shunning away from the camera or uh, from the people or anything like that. It's not that. It's, there is a joy in that being somewhat distant or somewhat uh, it, very difficult to explain that shyness. But for our practical okay. purposes, let us say shy. Okay, Satyabhama is very shy. But that means now you are saying Swadhina Patika is very confident. Should she be shy? My husband loves me. I can be very arrogant about it because my husband, okay. I am the most chosen person for my husband. What do you think? My husband, I'm most chosen. He loves me so much, he cannot live without me. So that confidence also adds a little arrogance to Satyabhama. That's beautiful. It adds an arrogance to Satyabhama. But then, that same Satyabhama... Okay. Telling, beautiful, and beautiful. Uh -huh. The same Satyabhama is telling, if somebody says, you know, what is your husband's name? Yes. Today's world, we are calling, you know, I call my husband Sadanand, Sada, and you call your husband Ramana, and, you know, somebody calls something. You know, we are very open about our, you know, calling, calling the name of the husband. Uh, but, generally speaking, the culture, in our culture, in our tradition, generally we don't say the name of the husband. Why that is our culture? That, is it right or wrong? There's nothing, nothing right about it, nothing wrong about it. That is our culture. That's how we are brought up. That's our culture. So, but then, you know, somebody says, what's your husband's name? To Satyabhama. Then she can simply say, she's so arrogant. She can simply say, yeah, my husband's name is Krishna. Right? If you ask me what's your husband's name, I'm so confident. Sadhanan. That's my husband's name. Sadhanan. So that arrogance is there. It's, it's that possessiveness that he's all mine. You know, that something about that makes you a little arrogant. Right? A little arrogant. But then, in this arrogance, Satyabhama says, Sigayam So shy to tell the name of my husband because somebody asked what's your husband's name then she's very shy so he's satyabhama such an arrogant satyabhama such a confident satyabhama as you said swadini pataka lakshana you know or there that she's so confident yet that doesn't mean she's not shy so when you say one character or one avastha you cannot remove the other character. At the same time, it will be existing also. That's what I want. So I'll be doing Sigha in the name. You know, just... Okay. Is it? That's beautiful. We are waiting to see that. Yes. Let's see that. See?
So, so what else you want me to do? Yeah, that was so wonderful, Auntie. That's a beautiful piece. And uh, you've done so beautifully. That Sigai no Yama. It's wonderful, 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 beautiful thing. Thank you. And uh, yes, <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> and uh, we have finished uh, in Ashtavidha Naika, <clears throat> first uh, uh, Naika. And we are, talk we are going for uh, second Naika, which is Verahot Kantita. Being separated from her lover, she's not sure if he comes back or not. Her pain is more pathetic. She's disappointed that he did not come back. She's disappointed. So for that, you know, just let's what you're going to Satyabhama being a Swadhina Patakanayati, as you just mentioned, Satyabhama is so confident of her love for her husband, yet the character that uh, the, the, the the character that you, the Viraham, the separation, because of her extreme love for her husband, she is feeling the separation. So such an arrogant lady, does it mean she should not feel the separation? She knows that her husband loves her the most. She knows that he is going to come back, she is not going to go anywhere. But why is she feeling that? So Satya Mama, at the same time, as confident as she is as Swadhina Patika, is also insecure. He's also insecure and feeling the separation. Here there is a philosophic note to it. You know, I was thinking about it. There's a philosophic uh, note in this Viraham from a spiritual standpoint, does it? Okay, not from the physical standpoint. Yes. Krishna is all pervading, he's the Lord. Krishna is everywhere. But where is Satya Baba looking for Krishna? She's looking outside for yes. Krishna. That's why she's feeling that Viraham. If she looked inside, he's right there. Exactly. Right there. So exactly. what I feel is, why Satya yes. Baba is looking for Krishna outside? What is it that she's looking? Maybe there is an element of jealousy in her. That's why she's wondering, where did he go? So confident, you said, as Swadhina Padika. Maybe there is an element of jealousy, but otherwise, why is she looking outside? When inside her, there is Lord Krishna. She's not an ordinary woman. She knows. She's a philosophic elite. Isn't she? Yes. So, she has married the Lord. Him. She has married the Lord. So, what a great stature she has. She's not an ordinary woman. But still... When you look for the Lord outside, sometimes you feel that insecurity. So look for the Lord inside. He's there always. So for this, what I did was um, Master Garu, Vempati Satyangaru, sir, um, just in a few minutes, sir, Jagu Chesani. Where is he? Oh, that's wonderful. I thought. That I thought, <coughs> a few minutes yeah. that I thought, you know, from, um, in uh, you know uh, Karijatam also uh, that I thought you know I would I would see uh, how she is suffering uh, his the separation from the Lord. Okay. So okay. Is, Let's see that. Yes. Sir.
this beautiful andi the virahot uh, kandita jagu chesane how beautifully you did it's really beautiful andi that viraham and we could see the feeling of satyabama there huh. yeah it's beautiful it's beautiful now the third uh, naika vasaka sajja huh. one who waits for her naika's arrival ready with all arrangements she adorns herself and makes preparations to meet him she wants to welcome her naika sweetly ah that is vasava uh, sachi yeah we are waiting to see what you are going to do for that the, for this i think you know the what i i would do would be lekha lekha she writes oh. a letter letter to the lord yes and she sends it to the through the scholar the messenger comes and picks up the lekha that's fine but we, then she is thinking of the lord and he hasn't come and she is expecting him to come obviously so what is her avastha what is the stage what is her uh, her mood like see you are expecting your husband to come and that makes you feel like dressing up Yes. Uh, that makes you feel like presenting yourself as the most beautiful woman on earth exactly yes so yes in the heavens wherever yeah krishna is correct clean. if just a guest comes to our house you know we try to clean the house and keep it you know conducive to the you know uh, naturally when the per- person comes to our house we keep everything in in perspective in a in a nice way and then you go and you dress up but when a husband is coming that dressing is different that you want to please him you know, so when you see whether you are a feminist or not a feminist doesn't matter she is a feminist also satyabhama don't think you know she is always trying to please her her husband no there are times when she expects him to please her so satyabhama oh, oh. all that right is very true very true very true, true. true that that's the same thing with you and me or any woman for that matter we dress up for that doesn't mean you know we are just you know 
uh, not feminist. There are times when we tell our husband, you know, wear a tie or wear a suit. So we tell them that and they wear it for us. They may not feel like wearing it, especially my husband, I will tell you. You know, I will tell him, you know, we are going to this particular place, you know, wear, wear a suit. Okay. So is he pleasing them or is he pleasing me? He's pleasing me. So what I am trying to say is, Satchavama has all these characters or it's like a, it's like a, a spice box. Different spices are there. One, one, box, may have, one box may have it's a little, like that. Box, you know, little bit of caro, another box may have, you know, a little bit of coriander, another, you know, so, but it's a combination. It's that, that combination of everything is there. Now you have asked me for this particular one. I thought, you know, I would do Lekha. Uh, this is also actually Master Goddess composition, but you know, uh, I tried to kind of uh, to, to, to took it uh, so I would uh, dress up, you know, dress up for uh, okay. before I write the letter to him. You know, I would write a letter as Master Garu wanted, we'll write a letter. But prior to that, what was Sachabhama doing is what I wanted to say how she dresses up and oh. how she's so anxious that her husband is coming and she wants to present her best to her husband, Lord Krishna. Yes. Yes, Auntie, we'll see that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's so beautiful. That's wonderful, Lekha. And uh, so beautifully you have done, like decorating yourself, writing the letter so sweetly. And you're asking so innocently, asking him to come back. And uh, that's wonderful. How a beautiful girl waiting for her husband to come back home. And that's so beautiful depicted. Andy. That's wonderful, Vasak Sanjay, we have seen. So beautiful. Now, uh, I'm going to tell about uh, fourth uh, Nayika. That's a Vipralabdha, one who has been deceived by her Nayaka, one who discovers that he is with another woman. She feels cheated as her Nayaka is not at all at the meeting place as he promised. Consequently, she is frustrated and thus becomes angry. She becomes restless. She becomes restless. She is suspecting that he probably was spending uh, with somebody else, right? And in this context, what I remember, what I remember is uh, um, uh, that uh, Satya Bhama, where is her insecurity? Where is her insecurity? Her insecurity is with Rukmini. I don't think she is insecure with anybody. With any other wives. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> she's more insecure about only Rukmini. Only she's yeah. very insecure about Rukmini. Now, if she is insecure about Rukmini, now you tell me Narada comes. You know, we know how Narada is. Right? He enjoys uh, he enjoys a little, um, what should I say? Mm, he enjoys mischief. Narada enjoys yes. mischief. So generally, so generally an average person, what do we do? Even if we know the truth of a matter that this man has somebody else on the side or whatever it is, you know, generally we don't speak about it so that we don't create any waves in their married life, isn't it? But in the in this case, as Parijata might again, uh, the Narada comes and tells, hey, Satyabhama, see, Parijata, that beautiful flower, he gave it to Rukmini. <laughs> That's what. As we shall call her do. Uh. He comes and he <laughs> Now, when he says that, what is the reaction? Is she angry? Is she just, is she, what is it? She is so angry. And then she's so angry. That anger, you know, I, you know, from Parijatam I have ta taken. Uh, is it, you know, is it, is it right for him to give to Rukmini, the Parijata? Is it right for him to do all this? And, and by the way, why did you not tell him? Or why did you why, why did you not tell him this? Anyway, I know you love this mischief. You know, so you're not going to tell him. And then this Rukmini, and she has no value system at all. She doesn't have a value system. Her morals are very low. She runs around with Krishna. As if, you know, Krishna is not married, but Krishna is married to me. How dare she is? How dare? That is what I'm going to say. Okay, that she feels so cheated and uh, she, cheated. she outbursts. Yes, she's uh, outbursts. Yes. That's beautiful. Wow. Waiting to see that, Auntie? Yes, let's see that, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's wonderful 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 piece from parjatam pet and uh, amy that uh, poem it's beautiful so beautiful depicted and that's wonderful and uh, we could see so many different uh, shades of satyabama thank you so much you are showing us uh, a new perspective of satyabama thank you it's beautiful beautiful that is what you know i was always thinking you know satyabama is not one satyabama has it's like um, it's it's uh, in science in science terms if you want to talk about you see white light right or light as white or you see uh, blue color but all the colors are there the rainbow yes. colors are there yes at a time you're showing us her color yeah you know? beautiful beautiful, so beautiful. the same thing Every, all ladies, you know, we are only talking about ladies, you know, forget men, they have the same qualities, you know, when we talk, have to talk about that, we will talk about it. Right now, let's talk about the ladies. All the women, we have all these, all these feelings out there embittered in us. And depending on the context, and depending on what is your most important trait, what is your most important trait? See, in, in, um, in some some people you know they are very um, um, tamasic you know, oh. tamasic in uh, in english uh, if i have to say it's called like a couch potato somebody who sits and just doesn't want to work okay that's a tamasic quality does it mean they are tamasic all the time they sit on the sofa and just doesn't do no. anything. they don't do anything no it's not so but that's their major quality Yes. That is the essential quality of them, but other qualities yes. are there. But at a time, supposing the house is on fire, is he going to be tamasic? Sit in the couch and then not do anything about it if the house is on fire? He's going to jump out of the couch and run out. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. These qualities, you know, cannot yeah. say this is who. Some qualities will be hidden. Yeah. yeah. Right. So. Which, That's beautiful. Uh, now the next and the next uh, fifth uh, naika of this Atkavida uh, naika is Khandita, one who is angry with her naika for uh, having gone to the other woman. She's the one who sends away her naika in anger. She's angry with her naika for causing disappointment. This will be superimposed by other emotions like sarcasm, hurt, pride, self pity, revenge, disgust, and ferocity. Hmm. Kandita Naika. Kandita Naika. Uh, here, um, you know, she is, who am I? Bhamana Satya Bhamana. I am that Satya Bhama. Oh. What is it? I am the most chosen among the 16,000 Adhyarvela, you know, 16,000 people. 14,000, 16,000. Yeah, it is. I think this is uh, something different, Aunty. We have seen, everybody have seen. Bhamane Satya Bhamane. This is different, right? Bhamana Satya Bhamana. Bhamana Satya Bhamana. Oh, okay. this is different. Bhamana yeah, this is. Bhamana. You know, so I am the chosen. What do you think about me? I am Satya Bhama. What about where, where can he go? Where can he go? That is the attitude she has at the time. So Bhamana Satya Bhamana, it is, uh, you know, also from Parijatam that I've taken. And then just want to do a little bit of that just to show, you know, the the, the diversity of uh, Satya Bhama's personality. The very diverse personality. So that's what I want to show. Yes. Yeah, waiting to see that. Yes, let's see Khandita Naika. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, that's so beautiful, Andy. Bhavana, Satya Bhavana. We could see Khandita Naika there, and uh, it's so beautiful. She says, "I'm going to hit him on the forehead or hit him with his jada and everything." That's so beautiful. I'll tell you that she says, "Hey, what? A, see, this is where you see her love for the Lord. The love for the Lord blinds her formalities towards the Lord. There are certain formalities are there." Whether a husband and wife, or mother and daughter, or any relationship, in spite of it, there are some formalities, right? So right. when 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 uh, now we are talking about Satya Bhama, what Satya Bhama right. is saying? Satya Bhama is saying, let me take my beautiful flat with with this, that's that's adorned with this magali pool, you know, the, the one kind of flower. Magali, yeah, right. Aromatic, beautiful aroma. Okay, she takes that and she says. With this flat, long flat, I'm going to kick him. Hit the Lord? What does that mean to us? Don't we should never take that very, very, uh, you know, bluntly as as it is said. Her affection, her love for the Lord, surpasses any kind of a formality. When you have that ultimate love. You can do whatever you can do, but it's all a part of that love. And then even this goes, anger is part of that love. Anger yeah. is part of that love. And then, um, you know, uh, then she she says, "Oh, see, with my left leg, I can kick him. Huh? I can." Uh, so this. Attitude of Satya Bhama. When we say she is arrogant, we should never forget that her intense love for the Lord. Her intense love for the Lord has given her the permission to hit him. We got to look at it from that perspective. Was Satya Bhama hit the yes. uh, hit the Lord with the left leg? Huh? Can anybody hit the Lord with the left leg? You tell me. No. Then that's no. not the Lord. Nobody can hit him with the left leg, but he let her do that because of his love and her love, because they surpass oh. any kind of a formality. Because with the Lord, when you are there, you know, even in uh, in um, as recent as Ramadasu's story, Yavadabba Sommani, he says, Yavadabba Sommani with the Lord Rama, he says, Yavadabba Sommani. Whose money you think? So when you when you have that kind of yeah, concentration, devotion. Yeah. devotion for the Lord, there is no limitation yeah. for your expression. There is no limitation for your expression. We understand. But anyway, but that's all in the parameters of the love. Got it. That's, that's what it is. That's beautiful and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we are moving on to sixth Naika. Proshita Batruga, and she, one who is feeling lonely because her naika has gone out. She is the one who is unable to bear temporary separation. Being separated from her naika, she is waiting for him, and she is sure of his return. Ah, uh, she is sure of his return. See, this reminds me of my childhood days. My childhood, even now, I think, if I if, uh, much has not changed in me you know, from my childhood to today. See, uh, when when you you are going for an important work, you know, for a student, important thing is when they are going to an examination. When they are going to an examination, I would tell my amma, my mom, amma, you have to stand in front of me. Did I study or not? Is not important right now. If my mom stands in front of me, I know I'm going to pass the exam. That's an omen that I hear. That's a very good omen. If my mom comes in front of me, I'm very, very satisfied, and I'm very confident that I will pass the exam. That's a good omen. Seeing the omen, yeah. Mm -hmm. We do that all the time. Yeah. In this, we do all that all the time. You know, uh, you know, for even it, it doesn't have to be an Eastern world. In the Western world, it's the same thing. It's a, there are, they have so many omens. They have just like us. They also have. Yeah, they do believe in that. Yes, they do have. They, everybody has it. It's a, it's a, 
it's a personality deficiency. You know, we feel that something deficient, and in order to fill that, we need something. So there is an anxiety for right. me. I'm going to the exam. Right. There is an anxiety for me. I don't like that anxiety. Do I like that anxiety? No, I don't like it. So now, in that anxiety, if I put my mom in front of me, my mom goes into me, and the anxiety is removed. Oh, I'm right. going to have the exam. So mm -hmm. this is what the omens are. Right, right. To right. These anxieties. Very true. Now, very true. Now, Sachi Mama is anxious. She's anxious that her husband oh. can turn. Her husband to come. Mm -hmm. She wants her husband to come. And then she knows he's going to come. Why she knows she is going to come? Because that she doesn't want that anxiety. Oh, where is my husband? Where is my she doesn't want that. She wants to fill in that take away that anxiety and put some substitution into it. And what is the substitution? Is one good omen she has seen. She has seen Uttarana Guru Mulu. But there are thunderstorms on one side of the sky. Turku Uttaram is what? Northern? North? Uttaram. East with north. North, right? North. North. Uttarana. Uttarana is north. In the northern sky, it's a, there is a, thunderstorms are there, lightning there. And that is supposed to be a good omen. A good omen. Okay, okay. Right. That is what you know, Satya Bama is saying. See, interesting, isn't it? That's so beautiful. Satya no? <laughs> Bama, what is Satya Bhama? Satya Bhama is, is, is just like any one of us. Any one of us. She has all these feelings. Such a typical Mukta Swarupi. Such a typical, uh, innocent, wonderful, absolutely pure young person. But it doesn't matter. Such a mama can age. Physically, she can age. But internally, such a mama is always that Mukta Swarupi. Uh, okay. Beautiful, that is, beautiful. I, that is what I think. So I'm doing that little, uh, again, choreography of Master Garu. Uttarana Guru Mulikaru Cinema. So my husband is going to come. So now she's, okay. Her restlessness is gone. When so, she says also the good woman, she feels so yeah, she secure. Feels very she good. feels okay. so sure that he will come back. Okay. Come back. That anxiety is gone. <laughs> she substituted the good woman in that anxiety. And now she's peaceful. And she's waiting for her husband. That's what I, I'm, I'm doing. Wow. Beautiful. So let's see that. Wonderful and beautiful, beautiful. Prashik Patruka waiting for her husband and and seeing different different women and the happiness in her. It's beautifully done, beautiful and beautifully nice depicted nice. that uh, Naika Prashik Patruka. It's beautiful. So we are going to the 
seventh uh, Naika of Astavida Naikas. Seventh is Kalahantarita, one who repents for having fought with her Naika. She's the one who repents for her hasty behavior, which has resulted in their separation. Huh. Kalaham is basically fighting, right? You fight. When you fight, this is this is where we have to be very, very careful. When you fight with some guy, some lady, you fight. Then when you fight with somebody, if you feel you are right, you are never going to feel bad that you fought. How many times, you know, you fight with people and then forget them, you never look at their face again. And nothing bothers you. Because you feel you are right, and they Perfect. are wrong. Yeah. You feel you are right, but yes. when, when Satya Bhama, she loves Lord Krishna so much, for a different reason, whatever reason it may be, she fought with Krishna. She misunderstood Krishna, or she understood Krishna, doesn't matter, she fought with him. Right? <laughs> yes. She fought. She fought. can say, she is an arrogant lady according to us, right? According to some. You could categorize, she is a Swadhini Patika, she is an arrogant, she is confident, she is everything. She fought with her husband. Then, is there a need for Satya Bhama to ask for forgiveness like you and me? She's just like you and me. Because yes. of our love for our husbands, even when we fight, at the end of the fight, fight. later we will. Want want that fight to end as full stop period this is it exactly no, exactly no. it continues into compromise and continues to uh, into love compromise yeah. then you love is obvious you know so that is what it is so um, in this uh, the last you know as the parijatam was given and she hits him with the with the flat and she kicks him with her left leg she does all these things and then she's angry that he had been to rukmini and he favored rukmini whatever whatever all her misunderstandings when she realizes hmm, how did i be like that who is krishna I repented he is the Paramatma, and that Paramatma, so huge, such an eternal Paramatma we are looking at, such a Nirguna Swarupudu, Aina. See, he has no gunas at all. He is a Nirguna Swarupudu. For that, I have attached a guna to him. That means I can attach a character to him, attach yes. a quality to him. Actually, the Lord is Nirguna Swarupudu. When in that, I attach it and I'm getting angry with him. Why did I get angry with him? Because I've forgotten that he is Paramatma Swaru. He's the Lord. So I just brought him down to human level, attached a negative quality to him and fought with him. It's me. I am at fault. He is Paramatma. He is a Nirguna Swaru. He's a Nirguna Swarupa. But what did I, I gave him a Swarupa? I gave him a character. I gave him a quality. Uh -huh. And I said, oh, yeah, you are me. You have another wife. You have given Parijaram to her. Or you did this. You did that. So what, what am I doing to Lord Krishna? What is Sachivama do to Lord Krishna? She brought him from the Lord to human level. She brought him. And then she realizes, oh, my goodness. What did I do? What did I do? This Paramatma. I just made him like a Jivatma. A Jivatma. Perfect. Then she surrenders to him. And so sad. Okay. That's also from Parijatam, you know, Master Girl's composition I had taken. Then I That's it. so beautiful. Beautifully explained, Andy. Thank you so much. Like, <laughs> and uh, waiting to see that. Asrita Janna Raksha Kundu, Ambo Jaya Kundu, Akira Loka Vasudu, Adi Devindu, Dhatta Manta Bhumi Pandhim Pagano, Dhatti Nunchi Naveva Kasham Bhumedu, Dhatti Pratatti Sambhavita Dutti, Nagavaloti Chodrubo, Padatu Kala,
that's so wonderful and that's so wonderful we could see the repentance in satyabama the surrenderness of satyabama you have done so beautifully and it's really overwhelming it's beautiful 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 it's very nice and it's very beautiful now we are moving on to the yeah. last uh, yeah let's let's finish and then we'll chat again yes yeah okay. yes yeah the uh, last uh, naika of uh, ashtavida naika the abhisarika the eighth naika abhisarika one who goes out to meet her nayaka one who is impatient and wants to meet him but he has not yet come so she boldly goes out to meet him she goes out to meet him yeah she goes out to meet him. that's abhisarika that is abhisarika so let us see you know satyabhama let us look at her again uh, as uh, somebody who is arrogant uh, she has everything under under the sky and she is lord krishna is at her beck and call she feels that's why she could hit him she could throw him she could push him she could do everything right she could do everything but mm -hmm. then in this abhisarika she is she's looking for him she's looking for him and the whole world she leaves the world of wealth she leaves to meet her lord she leaves everything so what happened to her ego what happened to her arrogance what happened to all those greed and arrogance and jealousy and what happened to all that in that mood when she was in that avastha what we see is all those characters not that you know they disappeared and they were thrown out no that context that minute what happened she runs after lord krishna indu boti ni indu boti where did you go oh where did you go that's from the bama kala you know that is from bama kala you know that i just wanted to you know that ballet yeah that, you know and then you don't know, see this is the thing um attachment detachment there's i just want to talk about that see all this uh, which we hear bhatanacham whatever you know form of dance or music that you do you know in our indian tradition we are talking about a classical art this is always making us understand the reality versus maya okay. what we perceive is not true it's only our perception so it's the reality is different but we we may perceive differently so here satyabama is telling us it's always you know it's a lesson in itself for all of us see satyabama has lot of wealth satyabama's father you know is the king satyabama is adorned by so many people and so many things satyabama has her whole palace see when you want to go to higher you have to leave the lower the higher is the lord the lower is the wealth or the kingdom or the palace or anything else so yabama tells us hey attach yourself to the lord in order to do that you got to detach yourself with all these worldly things that you think are so permanent and they are not if you are really interested to attach yourself to the lord to the reality to dharma then you have to leave all this so if you want to attach to dharma can you still be attached to adharma is it possible no it's not possible in order to okay. attach yourself to dharma you have to leave adharma yes so in order to attach herself to the lord she left everything when she goes after finding her lord okay so look at that look it's a lesson in itself yes. Yes, yes, yes. yeah yes yes we talk about all these you know um, you know these stories you know indian mythology this is not mythology this is right living this is right living yeah. our scriptures and our uh, vedas and our stories and all that leads us to live a dharmic life that is what sanatan dharma is all about to live a dharmic yeah. life in order to dhar live dharmic life that's what she is saying in order to live that in the boat in the boat she is running after lord krishna in what happened to her palace what happened to all her seven seven weeks jewelry she leaves everything behind 
because that is the in order to attach to him that's the only way she has to do is leave everything else detach and then attach to the higher so that is what i thought uh, I, I did in, yes in the yeah waiting to see that let's see that yes. item yes. in the both tv yes <laughs> Yes, Santi, yeah. Abhisarika, we have seen that's so beautiful and uh, Indubotivi is very bubbly and very lively Yeah, and uh, very sweet Satyabhama we have seen. You showed us uh, Satyabhama in a different way and thank you so much. Like uh, this one, Indubotivi is so cute. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> Indubotivi, Indubotivi, you know, where are you going? Where are you going? I know. Running after the Lord. It's so... So beautiful, so innocently unlike, searching for him. So unlike <laughs> Satyabama, somebody who kicks him yeah. out, and then she's running behind him. <laughs> so this all yeah. can happen within the circumference of pure love, devotion, bhakti. So beautiful, beautiful. See that is what. And you have uh, explained so beautifully about uh, Astavidanaika in Satyabama. Exactly. We have seen Satyabama only as an. Pra proud, arrogant woman like that. And we have seen her in a different way. And you showed her the different side of Satyabhama, the different aspects of Satyabhama. Thank you so much, Andy. And your explanation is awesome, awesome. And you took us to the other side of the world. Yeah, Thank you so much. And it was wonderful. You know, there is wonderful a wonderful experience. Satyabriya, uh, you know, that's why I, I, you know, we always, you and me, uh, we always chat these things and, you know, that's helping us to grow into reality because I'm giving this opportunity. You know, you said, you know, do this. Uh, you know, I want to see what you want to do. If you didn't mention that, I would have just sat, you know, said, you know, beautiful programs are going on. But uh, you brought this out of me, you know, you brought this out of me. So thank you very much for giving me this uh, opportunity of exploring Satyabama and uh, you know, doing what I need, what I could do, you know, with the songs that I know. It's such a beautiful thing, you know, a 30 day celebrations. In the morning, we have uh, Pasirams and the, the, the fantastic thing, such a coincidence. It's my father-in-law who wrote these uh, Pasirams translated in, uh, into Telugu, Kuntimati uh, Sarmagaru, and uh, the Tirupati Devasthanam has published it. And uh, during Brahmoswams, they have distributed uh, thousands of copies of uh, his pasurams that he had there done. Okay. It's called Meli Nomu. You know, the book is called Meli Nomu. Uh, the Andal Charitra and Andal pasurams are given here. When he did that, what I thought is, okay, let me make the into beautiful music, just like we have the pasurams of in, in Tamil. You know, because Andal Tamil, is from right. Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. So with the, the same music and the same raga, if we do it, 
then it would be very um, kind of a, the familiarity will be there, you know, because the yeah. Tamil classrooms are very, very popular, both in Tirupavai. Um, yeah. Tirupavai yeah. is very popular. So if you keep it the same music, then, you know, that familiarity will make you listen to the music, you know, much more or listen right, to right. the words much more. So, and then I have requested this beautiful singer, you know, who sang for Master Garu for years and years and years, you know, Kanakadurka. Kanakadurka. Mm -hmm. Kanakadurka, you know, I have requested her, is it possible for you, madam, you know, to do this Beautiful. for us? And very, I mean, it's, see, it's a very difficult task. We may think, you know, it is easy, you know, she sang the same raga into the other, but the number of words and the number of lines are so different. She has to put into that, into exactly. this, without losing the meaning, right? You know, she, in the Sandhis right. and Naral right. right. in, in right. Telugu, so without losing the meaning, she had to do it. She did a lot of work. You know, I'm indebted to her for the rest of my life for doing this. And she has done that and she has created this beautiful music of 30 classrooms in Telugu that my father in law wrote. All our teachers uh, teamed up together and then they said, uh, you know, let us do the evenings. So every evening of 30 days, we have cultural programs. And then yes. this is a teamwork. This is teamwork. Look at our team. Yes. What a beautiful team we have. Starting exactly. from Satya, exactly. starting from you, Satya Priya, and then we have Kavita, we have Nalini Virajkar, Kavita Chiralla, and then Amani, and we have Bhavana Chanavujila, and we have uh, Chinmayi Bala, and we have Bhavana uh, Maruta Chala, and then we have Divya Swami, we have uh, Priyanka, and then we have Jishna, and then Ganguli Jishna and we have Kirna. So we have all these teachers put their complete effort, undivided effort into, into this yes. alpha that we are going to continue. Exactly. And then the reality happened. And that is really Andal's blessings. And uh, just this happened uh, because all of you worked very, very hard to bring the best out of each child. And this motivates them to become the dancers. The potential that they have will come out and then they become you know, beautiful dancers. This opportunity. And also this teaches them a lot of discipline and teaches them that you know, every morning they have learned what uh, Margarine means. They have learned all the pashrams. They are hearing the pashrams. And they heard the story of Andar Charitra. I have explained, you know, starting of the event. Um, the event today this margaret i've explained that and kids have listened to that so there is that there is that that culture that culture that tradition, exactly you know, exactly is poured into culture and tradition in, into our kalamandapam it's all yes. because of all these teachers uh you know under the direction of you know kavita everybody is moving on uh, in in the way they should and i thank each one of you uh, for making this a beautiful, beautiful, and very successful, very spiritual, very happy one whole month of festivities. And what else can I ask for? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Guru Murinali Sadhananda Garu. Uh, we are very happy to have you this evening. And it was wonderful, like as usual, year after year, you're giving us new things and we are learning something new. And this year, we are seeing Satyabhama in different perspective. And every time we think Satyabhama is an arrogant and proud woman like that, but you showed us in different way and uh, you have taken us into a different world, totally. Thank you so much. We had a wonderful uh, evening. And thank you so much, Guru Mrinali Sadhanandaji. Thank you so much.